this week, uh, the tidbits. We've got a new sponsor on board this week. Uh, this week, we're sponsored by Game Day Sportswear. They're a local Aussie supplier for all your sporting workwear, school uniforms, proud sponsors of many clubs uh, and associations that you probably already know uh, in and around baseball and stuff like that. So uh, thanks to Game Day uh, for sponsoring the tidbits this week. Now let's have a look. What do we got? I can't remember who's up first. I think it might be me. It is. It is indeed. All right. So we've got a bit of Shoei. Nobody else hit a ball harder or threw a pitch harder than Shoei Atani did the entire WC World Baseball Classic. All right. So we talked about this a little bit last week, but what an absolute weapon. I I love watching him play. Can't wait to watch him in the major league in the next however long. Did you guys uh, see the numbers getting thrown around for yeah. his projected uh, earnings? Yeah, or- they were saying as a pitcher, eight years and two hundred and eighty million or something. As a hitter, ten years, three hundred and thirty. So uh, combine those together, and yeah, he's he's breaking the five hundred mil mark. Yeah. Worth every cent too, though, isn't he? Yeah, for sure. If these other guys are getting stupid, stupid money for what they do, I mean, he deserves it. You, you won't see someone like him again. I heard there was going to be um, someone take on the showy rule in third grade Toronto Tigers this year. Yeah, well, at least any insight on that, coach? Oh, mate, you know. Don't want to give away, you know, too many game plans or, uh, you know, trade secrets or anything. But, uh, you know, maybe week one we might see it. You never know. The rules have oh. been put into the old Newcastle Baseball Association. So, you know, you can only play within the rules. Oh, that's Depends right. what that well, guy does in the first few at-bats. <laughs> well, yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah. He may not see the ball. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Mate, might Jose hit. Canseco, shut your eyes, swing hard in case you make contact. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mate, in this what day you and age, like? you can strike out and it doesn't matter anyway. That's it. Swing for the fence, Dave. That's all I can say, mate. Just Unless like this guy. guy. Ken Griffey Jr. will be the fourth highest paid player for the Cincinnati Reds this season. He'll be making $3.5 million thanks to his deferred payment agreement of his contract in 2000. Insane. I love looking at all these contracts and going, what must go on to get a player like that? I think we might have something else coming up later in the tidbits. No, uh, not a comparison well, though, mate. Not even a comparison though. No, it's not. Right, that's, up what, next? that's what you had to do back in the day though. It's like if you wanted a competitive team, you had the guy there. They didn't have the money up front, so so many contracts were deferred. Yep. Uh, can't beat Bobby B, but, yeah, more and more are coming out with that. Yeah, for sure. So that, that leads into us. So good old Ichiro. He saw 39,000 regular season pitches during his uh, major league baseball career so we're not even talking japan we're just talking mlb he only saw 25 of them with his career batting average below 300 and that probably would have been his first 25 at bats of his career so what a freak that's 39,000 at bats I'd, I'd hate to work out the percentage that it is but yeah 25 of them for under 300 yeah, it's ridiculous. It's yeah, one of those ones that will probably never be broken. No, Again. no, not not these days. So then we move on to we move on to the cricket. So the recent one day series, Australia versus um, India. It's nice that we got up two two games to one. But an interesting stat from it: poor old Yadav for India, first one day, golden duck. Second one day, golden duck. Third one day, Golden Duck. He got the hat trick. Great to see, but very rare. I don't. I can't recall anyone having three Golden Ducks in a row. So 
It's glad it's I was one to, of them and not one of us. It's got to be some sort of team shout. I remember a, oh. uh, a story going around about a great uh, Newcastle baseball, Ian Lewis, getting struck out three times in the one inning and had to do a bit of a shout. And uh, this is next level. Yeah. Next level. Yeah, this is the uh, not even just first and third out. This is first, second and third out, isn't it? That's it. That's it. On to you, Randall. Yeah, speaking of uh, deferred payments, um, the Orioles, you know, they're starting to build a pretty good team with a lot of young guys and they're going to have to start to splash some cash, I think, to uh, keep some of these guys. Um, but it's going to be a bit hard when you look at their payroll this year. Kyle Gibson, new recruit, he, he picked up 10 mil for the season. Chris Davis, he hasn't played in, what, five years? At least, I think. Uh, yeah, he's still picking up $9.17 million a year ahead of Adam Frazier, new signing of $8 million, Anthony Santander, seven point four, and old Cedric Mullins, all-star, world baseball classic player, third, last 30-30 player, I think, too, 30-30 for a season. Yeah, right. On a measly little $4 million. So... Yeah, they really need to get rid of that Chris Davis, I think. Actually, 2020 was his last year. So oh, it, was, really? it was only recent, yeah. 52 Did at bats. Did he actually play? Yeah, okay. 52 at bats, six hits, batting 115. What did he do the year before that? Uh, 307 at bats, batting average of 179. With um, <laughs> <laughs> only 55 hits, 36 RBIs. Doesn't say how many home runs on this one anyway, but yeah. He, um, because he had, he had a lot of um, persisting injuries there for a few years where he didn't actually play many games for a couple of years before he finally hung the boots up. So, right, mate, how's he going to spend his 9.17 mil this year? <laughs> I boat. don't know. New boat, new plane, I don't know. Don't hate to charity because he doesn't need it. Only two years in his career did he hit above uh, 270 or 275, sorry. It's a good year, mate. He, he was one of those first guys, I think, where they were you know, paying him to hit, long, hit the long ball, weren't they? Yeah, pay the stupid money after having a really good year. And What, did what, he hit 50-something home runs and then they yeah. signed him to a big, big contract? It's like Aaron Judge, mate. Last year he hit a million, this year's going to hit 30. Hope he eats less. <laughs> uh, speaking of Shelly again, he keeps popping up. There's a lot of talk about the World Baseball Classic and it meant nothing and nobody cared about it. Well, these are some of the Instagram followers for before the World Baseball Classic. Shelly, he had 1.8 million followers. Lars Nootbaar, he had 59,000 followers. Randy Rosarena, 125,000 followers once the world baseball classic finished shelby atani jumped to five million followers on instagram from 1.8 lars newt bar went up to 979,000 from his 59,000, and randy arosa rayner 573,000 from his lowly little 125k so people want to say means nothing nobody cares about it. no one's watching looks to me like there was a uh, a few million people watching. Yeah. Well, listen, didn't they work else either 94 or 97 percent of TVs in Japan yeah. were watching the World Baseball Classic final? Yes. Yeah, it was like 97.1 was just yeah. that. That's insane. Yeah. It's unbelievable, so isn't it? Tell them it meant nothing. 97 percent of yeah. TVs in Japan. Now, you think how many TVs would be in Japan? And that's how crazy. Lars had to be loving it. Uh, of that 920,000, I wonder how many were from Japan. Yeah, probably a lot. Mm. Probably a lot. That's yeah, great that's to see. It, yeah. he, he's only a re relatively new player, too, into the major league. So, you know, he, he was, he's been around, you know, a couple of years or whatnot, and he wasn't a big name player. But after that, he is going to be a big name player now. His name will be everywhere. Everyone will know who he is. Yeah. That's massive for him for his career. Yeah, World Baseball Classic, you had lots of things. We talked about it last week where 
you know, we're all, we're all for it. Um, and obviously, baseball is growing around the world with uh, those sort of numbers jumping on board with those couple of players. And I'm sure it's not just those players that got that. It was uh, probably a lot more. Do you guys see, um, speaking of World Baseball Classic, let's uh, close out, sorry, the tidbits first. Uh, thanks to game day. Um, sportswear, if you're a baseball team, football team, school, whatever it might be, get in touch with them uh, and they'll sort you out. I'll leave all their social uh, media contacts in the show notes, so jump on there. 